Hello again, and welcome to another edition of The Power of Better. I'm your host, Elbert Walters III, Executive Director of Powering Chicago. Today, we are coming to you from the American College of Chess Physicians in Glenview. This clinician association is where medical professionals in pulmonology, critical care, and sleep medicine receive the latest in training and resources in their areas of expertise. Recently, CHEST, as it is commonly known, installed solar arrays on its roof to take advantage of environmental benefits. A project of this breadth and scope required meticulous precision, and CHEST looked to a powering Chicago contractor to get the job done. At first glance, the 11-year-old chess building in Glenview would capture your eye by its unique architecture and size. But recently, this medical society embarked upon an ambitious project, installing 560 solar panels on two roofs. In all, one-third of this expansive 48,000-square-foot facility will now be powered by solar, saving roughly $40,000 a year. Dr. Bob Masaccio is Chess' CEO and Executive Vice President. Many people think that employing solar energy is all about a press release. It's not for us. It's really about us uh, demonstrating that you know we have values and we like to live those values. They're not just words that go on a marquee. We actually try to live our mission and our vision. To execute this enterprising project, Chest hired powering Chicago contractor Hart Electric. Peter Hart is a second generation electrician who is now Hart Electric's vice president of operations. For Hart and his team, this project consisted of much more than building a 265 kilowatt system. Hart had to take into account a load restriction on the roof, which added to the degree of installation difficulty. We came up with a game plan of installing over 300 OMG anchors to support the upper roof section on a more just rail system than this lower section that maintained the ballast. And it took about three and a half months of discovery. Installing the solar panels under less than ideal circumstances is one challenge. Finding the right panels that will withstand the rigors of mother nature is another. That's why Hart Electric chose Maxion Solar Technologies, which has 2,000 patents for its silicon-based 475 watt solar panels, which last longer and are backed by a 40-year warranty. By comparing Maxion solar panels with standard efficiency panels, Maxion's sales manager, Michael Hines, illustrates just how superior his product is. We engineered that weakness out and we created a solar copper back sheet for our solar cell. So not only do we not have the shade to the front of the cell, we have this solid back sheet and where standard efficiency cells are connected cell to cell by these tiny little strips of metallic ribboning, we have what we call our dog bone, which is a triple redundant cell to cell connector, which also acts as an expansion joint. So again, what we're doing is engineering out all the weakness that results in failure among standard efficiency panels. So I'm gonna hand you that and then I'm gonna encourage you to give that a little bit of a flex, put some stress on it. Okay, see what happens there? Yeah, that's just from a little. Yeah, so hold that bag up. That's what happens with a little bit of downward stress on a standard efficiency solar cell. And now do the same with this, get it to break. There you go, break it again, All right? This solar cell in a module would still be producing power even in this condition. That one obviously is not. Okay. So then the Next. question becomes, what do you want on your roof? Finding the elite solar panels that will withstand the test of time is vital. But to convert all of that solar power into usable electricity, Hart enlisted AP Systems' state-of-the-art microinverter technology. Our QT2 480 three-phase microinverter, what that does, it takes the energy, the DC direct current directly from the sun, the solar radiation, and transports it right into our microinverter that actually makes it usable AC-generated power. So it's the conversion point from DC to AC power. The American College of Chess Physicians is where top pulmonary critical care and sleep medicine clinicians come to receive groundbreaking training, learning opportunities, and research to further their careers. So having a facility that adheres to its healthy principles is paramount. This is totally aligned with our mission as well as with our values. Thinking about how we keep the air 
cleaner, how we keep our environment cleaner, uh, to make sure that we are doing as much as possible to promote lung health. Dr. Neil Frieden is a pulmonologist who has been a member of CHEST for 26 years. He invited us into a mock intensive care room. There, Dr. Friedman staged an intubation on a robot patient. All the while, the patient's movements and vitals are being monitored in a control room just feet away. As you can see behind me is how do we take care of critically ill patients, teaching people both the basics as well as more advanced procedures, anything from bronchoscopy to what happens in the ICU. With CHESS wanting to offer the best facility and training to its members, it's clear why they relied on one of Powering Chicago's best contractors and union electricians. I've had a number of questions, both during the bidding process, contracting process, and then afterwards, answered all those questions, addressed my needs, and Principal Peter is a very personal guy, and we've had a number of pleasant conversations, so top marks. They believed in what we were doing, and they believed that what we were trying to do was better for the, not only for their opportunity, but for the planet and for what their long-term goals are, their health organization. What we were offering was a full life cycle experience. We would like to thank Heart Electric, the American College of Chess Physicians, Maxigan Solar Technologies, and AP Systems for partnering with us on this project. That's it for another episode of The Power of Better. I'm Elbert Walters III, and on behalf of everyone at Powering Chicago, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.